want the, uh, the address to have come there. Okay. It means the address to have come there, and that was why the bullion van was... But why was bullion van moving on election day? I thought there was supposed to be no movement. No, there was not an election day. It no, was but, not. It was uh, a rufai. It was, I, was, I, was, I was in that house on that very day. Was yeah. day it was not an election. So it was the day before election. But it why was bullion van moving The everywhere? bullion van was missed the address to have come there. No! Presidential candidates have actually said that. And what people say is that we have a special money. He said that jokingly. It was a joking statement. So the Bolivar missed the same way. The same way, Mr. Dangote said that when he wanted to authenticate and get his mind. Got away you. Like Mohammed, no even lie. You reach this man. This man has been lying. So guys, I have three images for you, and I'm going to show you at the course of this video. But before I show you these three images, please, if you're not yet subscribed to this very channel, please do not forget to subscribe, share, and like. Most importantly, like our videos, because according to YouTube policy, when you like our videos, they recommend it to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed to this very channel. Hmm. Since they happen, no? and I'm going to be revealing to you some images. Do you know the most the, the, the people we should fear the more are those those who are campaigning for Tinimbo? I'm telling you with every honest truth, the people we should fear the more are those who are campaigning for Tinimbo. Those who have seen he his his that he's not even worthy to be on that seat. And yet they are forcing it on Nigerians. This is to tell you how desperate some human hearts are wicked in nature. I have three images from the very video I told you that I have three images for you. And I'm going to be revealing it to you guys. Stay tuned and be patient because this thing don't pass. You see this man we start this video. This man, I don't even know his name. This man's a be lie. Ah! This man's a be lie. How can you tell me that Bullion Van mistakenly missed the road? And at Tinibu House, he entered. He don't even enter the next compound. He missed. Do you see the lies? Like Mohammed lied though, during his time. Bro. Hey, but these guys, hey, I told you that if Tinibu becomes the president of Nigeria, we are going to go to Buhari. We're going to say, Buhari, thank you very much. Yo. We don't even know that you try. Yo. You really tried. This man will carry us to a place where we don't know. Before this image loads, because we're trying to load it here. Before this image load, I want to still remind you, if you have not liked this video yet, please do like. If you have not yet subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'm beginning to wonder what is happening in this country. And this Abuado Kingdom, they are really coming out with a, a very powerful pressure. Okay, my team said the image uploaded. Okay, number one image is this. This is these are people who are queuing to buy fuel. And somebody said, Bola Tinubu supporters will go through this. They come to social media to defend APC. I want Olorobuku. Some of you that know the meaning, I'm not going to be translating it here. Now, these guys are queuing. Though. I told you before, there is no filly station that is meant for the Igbo. Or that is meant for the Alsa, or that is meant for the Eurobas. When you go to the field station, you see everybody here. There's a Yoruba here, there's an Ibo here, there's an Alsa here. Everybody wants to get fuel. The same price. The second image is this Abado people defending APC on social media. You can see the dog aggressively barking. Abado people queuing for hours to buy fuel. They are now calm. These images, if you take it personal, that means you know you are doing the wrong thing. But if you take it as a very a plain advice that is coming from the tank crier that means you understand where we are headed the third image is about to load and believe you me this third image is where i'm going to start this broadcast officially because we cannot continue like this believe you me we can't continue like this we cannot continue like now this is the third image this uh was uh was it last year no not last year i think uh that was around the uh, was it four years ago? I'm going to be reading it. This is a bullion van entering Tinimbu's house a day before election. A day. Two bullion van. Two bullion van entering Tinimbu's house. My God. How can a bullion van? It shows how this man has extorted money from Lagos so much. Now, and this guy will start this my video. This guy will tell us the, the bullion van mistakenly entered Tinimbu's house. Bullion vans at Tinubu's house miss address. Now, this is a very big lie. The Lagos State Organizing Secretary of all the all progressive congress, Ayodele, okay, Adewale, I'm getting his name now, Ayodele Adewale, has claimed that bullion vans seen driving into Bola Tinubu's residence on the eve of the 2019 presidential election. 2019 presidential election missed their way there. 
Hmm. The APC scribe while speaking during an interview on Arise TV on Thursday said the bullion van matter the bullion van matter had been put to rest a long time ago. On the bullion van on the bullion van or no bullion van and all of that, I think that matter has been put to rest. There was no money in the bullion van. The bullion vans that even came means their way to have come there. I was in the house on that very day and it was not on an election day. The bullion vans missed their way to have come there, he said. Defending the incident for that, they were said there are some co companies that have high number of staff members that pay their staff with cash. That bullion van missed its way there and it was not invited by Swaju or anybody. Some pictures had gone viral on social media on the eve of the 2019 election showing two bullion vans making their way into Tinibu's premises, Lagos. Meanwhile, Adewale's position was at variance with the justification of the APC standard bearer in 2019. Tinibu had had while responding to those asking questions about the presence of bullion vans at his residence in Baudilon Ikoi said he could keep his money wherever he wanted. And this was Tinibu's reply. Tinibu said this wife uh, fielding questions from journalists shortly after casting his vote in 2019 he said excuse me is it my money or government money i don't work for the government i am not in an agency of government i let anyone come out to say i have collected contract from the government of president muhammad Buhari or the apc in the last five years they should prove it i am on my own and i am committed to my party so even if I have money to spend on my premises, what is it? What is it, what is your headache? If I don't represent any agency of government and I have money to spend, if I like, I give it to the people free of charge, as long as it is not to buy votes. Who are those monitoring my house or bullion vans? They must be me chef makers because they report false hoods. They are liars and idols. Defending this as well and on Thursday, Ayodele noted that Tinubu was only joking about it. Hmm. He noted that Tinubu was joking about saying that the money is his own money, not government money. You see, we are seeing these lies playing on daily basis on Arise TV. These guys are no longer hiding. First of all, it was fake bishop. Secondly, it was fake pastors. Another one was fake bullion van. Now it's a fake name. And that one is everything about these people are just fake, 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 fake. Everything about them is just fake, 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 fake. You cannot see any atom of truth. And I said it from the beginning of this video, the people we should fear more are the people who are campaigning for Tinibu, not even Tinibu himself. You see this crowd that are gathered to welcome Tinibu, these are the people we should fear. So far, not the tire owner. Should we continue to? I think APC people who support APC should have their own country. So that when this suffering starts, it will start from their own side. Because we cannot continue to, you know, gallivant in this way. We cannot. Well, I leave you guys in the comment section. I'm going to meet you there. Please do not forget to share, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like. After seeing all these things, when I still won't vote. Okay. I love you guys. Thanks for always supporting us. This is the Town Cryer. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out.